Hi, I'm here reviewing the LG View, and this is from AT&T. I have the case on it right now, so let me just take it off so you can see the full phone. Um, the case did not come with it, so if you're wondering, um, it has a plastic back and hasn't doesn't really scratch easily, and it comes with the plastic on it, and you can't really tell until you get like if you like touch it and then like it peels off then. You have to take it off because it's like it's all bubbles that goes all down. But like if you keep it on, no one knows. And um, has like a little mirror for when you take your picture. You can see, I guess it's called like a self-portrait mirror. Um, it's two megapixel camera. And then if you pop this off, battery and then some card goes in there. Um, it's a nice phone, some of my friends have it, and it works perfect for them, but this one has a defect, and, um, it's just when you call, it, like, goes to voicemail, but I think that might just be with the service, I'm not really sure. Um, it's really easy to use, it's really bright, so you probably can't see it in the camera. Let me see if I can adjust the contrast and you can see it easier. But um, there's four things on the bottom, and one leads you to the menu, the other leads you to like your contacts and stuff. Um, brightness. Oh, I had it on really bright. Wait, I'll put it on the super dark one. Um, I don't know. You can barely see it, but right along here is um is this button right here leads you to a menu and then there's a TV button contacts and phone um it's very easy to dial on but you can kind of see if I tilt it like the numbers are where the big white square is it's very easy to use and um, it comes with live TV it's extra money a month I think it's like 10 or 15 dollars but it's definitely worth it. You can like watch real TV on your phone. I think that's really cool. And it comes with a little demo, actually. Oh, you can see it. Oh, never mind. Well, it's a pretty cool phone. Um, I would just, if you're getting it from AT&T, I would um, ask them if they've had any problems with it or anything, like, I don't know, just ask for a lot of details on their phones that they have sold, because when I went into AT&T, like, I had to get into a contract that day, so I was kind of, like, forced into buying this phone, which isn't a bad thing, but they had a problem with the one that was out for display, so I think it could be the phone. I really don't know the history about it. I didn't really want to get to details with them. But, um, it's a cute phone. It locks for you. And then the, there's, like, buttons on the side. That this one's for the lock. So unlock it. It unlocks it for you. Or, um, there's a camera button. And then your volume controls. And it comes with some pretty wide range of ringtones. It's not your standard, like boring stuff. So overall, it's a pretty nice phone. Um, I would get it, you know. I think it just could be this one. Or maybe it was just a defect in the floor model. I really don't know, but maybe I hit something when I'm talking on the phone. I don't know, but it's a good phone.